Hello guys, welcome back to my channel Talks with Biggie. Hope you're all doing great as usual. And this is the first of its kind in our channel wherein I've come to meet my guest in person. He's been very kind enough to invite us over to his office space. And the man I'm talking about is an entrepreneur, a very successful one at that. Uh, to give a very short uh, brief of himself, he's a friend of mine. I've known him since 2015 and fast forward to 2022, he's, a, he's an entrepreneur, like I said. None other than Mr. Mohammed Shabab, the owner, founder and CEO of Growth Centrics LLP. Wait, before that, we put a lot of effort in making these videos. If you like my content, please do not forget to like, share and subscribe and also hit the bell icon below. So without wasting any more time, let's go right in. Follow me. Hello people, welcome back again. I have got my uh, guest with me right now, Mr. Mohammed Shabab. Uh, you're the first guest in my channel. Yeah, I'm thank you for to that. Be in your channel. And also, uh, you know, thank you for inviting us to your office place in a busy schedule. Uh, how have you been, man? How has life been post college? Yeah, I'm doing good. Uh, after college, see, everything will change after college because during our college, we are uh, in our comfort zone where everything, whatever we want, we get by our parents. So after my PU, like I was in a science stream those days, but uh, then I decided to shift my assumption because I knew that science was not my cup of tea because I don't want to follow the crowd and do the same shit. Yep. So what I thought was I, I was like, I want to do something on my own. I want to build my own uh, journey. So it was quite difficult because to go against your parents because it's not easy. easy. And the parents also like they are very, they care a lot for you because and they are very positive in their negativity because like they feel like uh, our son should not go to do some wrong things. He should not get trapped. So all these things, so they were very scared. But uh, my dad used to support me a lot. He was like, you do whatever you want, but don't go to the bad uh, path. Yeah. So, but sometimes what happens, even when my dad was positive, like the other family people, the uncles, aunties, all they were like criticizing a lot. So even dad was scared. He was like, don't do any wrong shits, all those things. So, but that, there came a point where I had to leave my house and go move to Bangalore for my higher studies and uh, to pursue my own journey. So it was quite hard from there. Uh, so right now, as we were speaking, right now you are very successful and everything looks shiny and glittery. How was the journey? I'm pretty sure it wasn't this easy. No, yeah, obviously the journey, as I said, it was a roller coaster ride. Where uh, when I went to Bangalore to pursue my undergrad, so in the beginning of in the beginning days, I used to host many events for the marketing companies. So it was going on a good track, but uh, due to some unwanted financial decisions, uh, it gave me a hard times over there. So at one point of time, I felt like nothing is working. So see, at least to survive in Bangalore, you need to have some source of income yeah. because otherwise it's very difficult to survive over there. Like all the room rents, foods, everything. So at one point of time, I felt like nothing is working. What am I doing? Did I take a wrong decision? Uh, so like I in home in my house, I took a challenge, all those things, and I came as yeah. a rebel. But it looks good. Like uh, in the story, it looks like he was a rebel. He went out. But the difficult the difficulty over there only I knew it. Okay, so what happened was uh, I decided one fine day to do a CV and uh, apply for jobs. So in a month, actually, it's a real thing. In a month, uh, I gave around 60 plus interviews where I got a call back from all the companies, whichever I've given my interview. But the thing was that job thing was not for me. It was really suffocating over there because I, I was feeling like this is not for me. I'm wasting my time here. I'm not going to achieve my vision if I be here. So I was not sustaining in any job for more than 10, 15 days. So then what to do? Like all these things were going on. Then uh, the, there came a day where even my survival for daily life was very difficult. Like even for my daily foods, all those things. So at one point of time, I decided to do as a sweet delivery boy job also. Where I used to earn from morning 7 a.m. to night 3.30 a.m. So it was very difficult. Right now when I'm feeling it, it's I feel like I have missed my life uh, those days. But right now it is all like I feel like it's a very good story I, I can share with anyone. So those days, all these things were triggering me a lot. Like I used to eat palaji biscuits for my daily like lunch, dinner and all. So it was very difficult as those days. But the hustle never allowed me to quit. Even though I was getting so, so many negative thoughts. But I knew that today I'm here. But there will be a time where I'm going to cherish all these memories. And today is that day. So I started working as a Swiggy earlier boy job. I even worked as a watchman for a daily wage. Wow. For uh, 500 rupees per day. Uh, from morning till evening, like uh, I was watchman for the restaurant where I was to calculate people, how many people came in, how many people came out. So all these things were going on. But yeah, the hustle was there. And uh, one fine day back in 2018, one of my friends, 2017, one of my friends shared me a video about stock market. Uh -huh. 
So that triggered me, and I felt okay. This is an ocean now. I have to jump to this ocean, no matter what. I have to build my own ship. So without thinking anything, I just started up working in stock, my learning about stock market. So you had any uh, educational background uh, with regards to stock market, or was just uh, it complete out of interest? See, for stock market, you don't require an educational background. It was all about like there is an ocean. There is a treasure in that ocean. All you have to do is you have to build a good ship. So it's all about it started all as a trial and error methods. Like I invented some stuff. I mean, I followed some strategy. It failed. Okay. Then I think why did it fail? So I'm re- restarting it. So it was all about trial and error method. So currently you are the successful CEO of your very own firm, Growth Centrics LLP. So how did this idea got con- conceived? See, back in 2017 when I started my trading journey, it was not easy because uh, trading. Business is a risky business. Like it's, everything is risky, risky but like, trading is also considered as risky. So what I was, I was, I was doing so many trial and error methods. So it took me one year to understand about the market, and it took me one more year to become a profitable trader. So from 2017 to 2019, I was in this hustle. Okay, I was not focusing on anything else. My focus was very crystal clear that I am going to achieve something in this. So I only focus in stock market. So In 2019, when I found that one spark which was required to make a consistent, profitable trader, I decided. Me and my friend decided, like, let's start this as a company and teach others. See, knowledge is you cannot keep knowledge within yourself. The knowledge must be shared with others. So what I what we decided is we'll teach stock market trading to people. And this was a very uh, crowded industry, the stock market trading. So many people has already lost a lot of money. So we are like, it was a very competition i mean very competitive for us to start a com- as a company but we started in 2020 i incorporated growth centric ventures so in the first beginning it was like only to teach people about stock market then suddenly the pandemic hit 2020 the corona pandemic That's hit crazy. so everyone were only looking for survival so, uh, everything was shut. shut if you know everything was shut except stock market the stock market was open entire pandemic so there we did a lot of fortune over there And I don't want to take it as an advantage because a lot of people have lost, lost their, their lives. lives. But I'm But telling you, business, everything yeah. was shut. Only stock market was open. Those days, people started exploring, exploring about stock market because obviously it's the survival, survival of, the of the fittest. Because if you can survive in any condition, definitely you are the fittest. fittest. So it was difficult during the pandemic, but we sailed through that uh, pandemic level. So once we finish the pandemic, now in 2022, we right now we have real estate uh, management firm. We have e-commerce. Firm. Oh, nice! So we have GX Shop for an e-commerce. We have GX Properties for real estate. So this is how we started growth centric, just from an idea to teach people about stock market. Now we are diversified venture. Yeah, and also tell us, uh, tell us our viewers uh, where you guys are located at. So we are located in the heart of the city, MG Road, and uh, it's in the Empire Mall, upper ground floor. Upper ground floor. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, with this done, uh, like you said, coronavirus was the time when this just took a very big boom. Yeah. A lot of people got into stock market. What What are your suggestions for somebody who is a novice and want to try out stock market as a profession? See, the biggest uh, boom started because we Indians, we are desi people. Okay. We don't understand complicated Com- things. And recently, in 2020, the Harshad Mehta web series yep. was released. That's what triggered India. Triggered, yes. As a fuel. See, before that. See, as of now, around four to five percent, maximum four to five percent of the entire Indians mm, are in population. stock market. Before that, there was only two to three percent. So this one percent hike, whatever it is, it's for the desi people. We are desi. Yes. We, we 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 go to movie. We imagine ourselves as hero, right? Heroes. So mm. there we everyone imagine themselves like I also want to become like Harshad Mehta. So that time the boom started for ourselves. People were coming to our office like I want to open a demat account. I want to start trading. So I felt okay. This Harshad Mehta web series. Created a big Trend. wave of stock market in India. So that's what retailers we call them retailers. So, so many people started their journey. But you cannot follow someone and you can make money. You require knowledge to learn mm-hmm. about the markets. So, people failed over there. They only went okay, risk here, risk here, risk here, risk here. Started doing a lot of uh, what is experiments. But so many people lost a lot of money. So what I can recommend for newbies is learn about the markets, understand the market, understand the sentiment of the market. See how market works. Then only you can become a profitable trader. And if you cannot do that, come to us. We will teach you how to trade. We will teach you how to become a profitable trader. And we, it's a live proof. We can show you the live proof that, that we make yes, money. Yes, yes. And with that, we've come to the end of our interview. Uh, it's been a great one, man. You know, yeah. 
and see you at the age of 25 and all it's crazy i wish you nothing but the best in your yeah, endeavors thanks for coming here and covering us bro. yeah yeah no no problem at all cheers and with that we're done with the interview guys it was a crazy one and i also got to know that these guys do properties as well as well as e-commerce and as you guys can see they've got academy they've got shop and they've got properties uh, and uh, lastly uh, we've put a lot of effort in making this video so if you do like our content please don't forget to like share and subscribe and also hit the bell icon right on the right side and with that i'll see you in another video take care bye cheers